Hello, this is Tech Me Out here, and today I'm doing a guest review for Matt Saunders' MCP on the top five City of Tweaks. First up, we have Clockwind. Now, what Clockwind does is it speeds up the animations from within your device, meaning, in essence, it kind of speeds up your device. So what you're going to want to do is go into Settings, and you're going to select Clockwind 2.0, and then select the animation speed. Now, from within here, you can get it right at the speed that you will like, and I'm just going to demonstrate a few of them. This right here is slow lowest this is as slow as your animations can possibly be on your eye device i don't know why anybody would want it but it's an option so now i'm gonna just go back into my settings again if you want something a little bit faster but you don't want to lose the animations then you might want to choose a middle setting such as okay this is more moderate and still it shows you the transitions but it moves at a faster pace but if you don't care about the transitions like I don't, then what you may want to select is hair blowing speed. And this makes it move so fast that it completes, completely wipes out the transitions that you normally would get. Coming in at number two, we have a blurred NC background. What this tweak does is it changes the background to your notification center, letting you adjust the blur value as well as the color. Now, what I really like as well as a simple but needed part of a tweak for me is the option to disable or enable the tweak. That option can be found at the top and you also can adjust the blur value. You can disable or enable the blur. Turning down the value will make it more blurry in the background. As you can see here, let me just zoom in a little bit. And if I turn the value all the way up, then it will decrease the amount of blur that is in the background. It makes it more of a solid color. And if you journey down to BG tint color, this is where I adjusted the background color of my notification center to red. So you have a few options as far as which color you would like. You can also adjust the opacity to the background. And right now I have mine set to blue. And if I turn it all the way down and slide down my notification center, you see that instead of it appearing to be blue, it looks white or light gray. And if I turn it higher up, then it looks more blue. Actually, it's kind of purple, honestly. <laughs> and if I turn it all the way up, then the color, the color, the color is more prominent. <laughs> Seems like I'm getting my words twisted all up. But anywho, we're going to go on to tweak number three, which is app analytics. Now, what this particular application does is it allows you to keep track of how much time you spend in each application on your device. So I can figure out how long I've spent in Safari or my mail application or in my settings or even on Cydia. And I'm going to just zoom in here to give you a better view. And as you can see, I've spent an hour and 33 minutes in Cydia, 44 minutes in my mail application. And this is all from the date that is indicated under the application name. So as you can see, Tweetbot says 23 minutes and so forth and so on. You can also search how much time you spent in an application by the month. And you can also edit the applications that appear in app analytics that way if there's an application that you don't want to keep track of versus one that you do then you can click edit and the minus symbol and delete the ones that you do not want next we have pandora downloader now this is absolutely one of my favorite tweaks because i'm a heavy pandora user and what this tweak allows you to do is click on this arrow here and save the song that you're currently listening to so as you can see i'm listening to marcia ambrose and if i click save song it will automatically jump into the pandora downloader application and if i select downloads here at the bottom i can then view the progress of the song that i'm downloading from pandora and save it on my device so this comes in hand when you hear a song that you like up there and you want to save it so you can listen to it later you also have a music player built within the app which is very handy for when you want to listen to a song on the go you just simply select it and it starts playing the downfall of this application is if you like album art you will not get that in this application but to me it doesn't matter as long as i can hear my music if you click on the settings tab you have even more options such as unlimited skips no video ads no audio ads and no banner ads you can adjust the mode for your music playing by repeating the song or repeating all or even shuffling the song and if you journey back over to your music tab I just like to note as well that you can click edit and you can make music folders to play your music because of all of those features this is why Pandora downloader is definitely a must-have for me <laughs> and last but certainly not least we have a range status bar 
Now with this particular tweak, it allows you to rearrange the text located in your status bar to a different location. So as you can see, I'm sliding Tech Me Out from left to right and I'm gonna place it in the middle and I can move my battery percentage by sliding down and then over to the position that I want to put that in as well. And if you want to simplify your status bar a little bit more, such as how mine's is with just the battery percentage and my name, then what you would need to download is Spring to My 2. That will allow you to customize not only your status bar, but many other things in your phone as well. Now, when you want to reconfigure your status bar back to its default settings, what you're going to want to do is go into your settings, find arrange status bar, select it, and then click reset status bar. <laughs> So that sums up my top five Cydia tweaks to download. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you liked it or if you simply want to show your support and follow me on Twitter at Tech Me Out. That's T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. Drop any questions or comments down below and let me know what was your favorite tweak out of these five that I showed you. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button in the middle. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.